Welcome to McCamey Farming Outdoors. I appreciate you stopping in. We're down here in the shop today. Time to start on a new project. It's starting to get cold out. It's a rainy day, so it's a good time to, to be inside working. But uh, we're going to start on a uh, our sawmill. So for the last four or five years, I have been wanting to build a sawmill. And things would come up, never would happen. Other things would come about, you know, uh, life's, life's changes, sports, all that sort of thing. And I finally made the decision. I said, all right, I'm just going to have to to start buying some of the parts, and then I'll have to finish it. So that's what I've done. I've got started on the uh, on the process, and I wanted to, to bring you all along on the, the journey of building this sawmill. I wanted to kind of make this, you know, an introductory video to the sawmill build and talk about you know what I've done so far you know I didn't want to bore everyone because really all that's been done is just a lot of cutting a lot of grinding and a lot of welding so I didn't want to you know you can go on YouTube and watch thousands of people do that um, probably a lot better than I can but I just wanted to now that I'm at this point I wanted to kind of show everybody what I'm working with here so Let's get started and talk about what I've got, kind of the plans, and kind of go over the build. So this is kind of my, my bread and butter to my design here. And I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit just, just so you can see it. But basically, I had to more or less design this entire mill before I could ever even start on the base. Because I knew, you know, I knew which size log that I wanted to be able to mill on it which you can kind of see the, the outline here, that's a 36 inch log. And so I built basically all the design of the mill, including the, the band, you know, band blade uh, length based around that 36 inch log. I used virtualgraphpaper.com uh, for this. I did it on the computer. It's, it's free, but it's, it's used almost like CAD. And, you know, it's just a big, piece of graph paper on your computer and you can make all of these designs and I, I used each little, one of these little squares I don't know if you can see that as one inch so all this is you know true dimensional and it helped me tremendously to be able to, to you know basically build this thing before I ever cut the first piece of metal so I would I would highly encourage you to you know, go through the process, you know, lay, lay out what you want to do, what you want to accomplish, you know, how, how large of a log you want to be able to mill. Uh, and then, of course, with that comes what size engine that you're going to need to power the blade so you're not underpowered. But just plan, plan, plan. That's, that's the biggest thing that I, can, that I can stress on this process because, like I said, before I even cut the first piece of metal, I kind of knew you know, based on that design, how wide I needed to be from this edge rail to that edge rail, you know, because a lot of that was, like I said, dictated by what size log I wanted to be able to mill. And then that also determined, you know, the, the width of my, my head up here because the blade length that I had to purchase also dictated what I needed here. So, like I said, be, be sure to plan um, because you don't want to buy a lot of stuff and buy a lot of material just to find out that it's not going to work. So let's talk a little bit about the bed first. Uh, I wanted to make it big enough to where I could easily mill a 16 foot plus board uh, or 16 foot log on here and still have room. So I made the, uh, the bed of the mill 20 feet long, which works out really well because the material that I bought, you know, all these longer pieces are sold in 20 feet lengths. So that's what I ended up going with and it made it a lot simpler. As far as the carriage goes, most of it is built out of two by three rectangular box tubing. And then um, the main part right here that the that everything rides on is two by four. 
uh, and all of this is eighth inch thick wall uh, so pretty substantial should do everything I needed to do and be be plenty strong enough so I don't I'm not worried about any structural issues I've used two befores along the the bottom of my my bed here and then the bunks I used two by three on top so should have plenty of material there for for the logs to sit on uh, and then for the side rails I used four inch C channel and, and thus far in the build um, that's really the only thing I wish I would have done different I should have just used the two before rectangular tubing on my long rails instead of the channel um, that's really the only regret I'm having right now um, just because I think it would have been cleaner a little bit stiffer and probably been a little bit easier to weld honestly and then for the for the bottom of the carriage I used two by two square tubing and then drilled some holes and, and cut some notches out here for a three inch heavy duty gate hinge you can see in there and it rides on this one inch piece of angle that's also 20 feet long uh, so so it should be plenty heavy and substantial to handle whatever I need to handle um, and then everything slides on the rails just as you saw there so there's a look from behind So for the connection plates on the uh, the head here of the carriage, um, I used this quarter inch plate here. Uh, as you can see by my, my sketch drawing here, they're eight inch by eight inch plates. And I cut out these notches in each side here for this two by three tubing to sit inside of and sandwiched it between there. And then what I did here for my, my wire plates, I'd use some quarter inch uh, UHMW plastic and I basically drilled some, some recessed holes in it and tapped this plate right here and put some, uh, some 5 16 bolts to hold it inside. I did that on both, both sides. And then sandwiched that quarter inch material in between. And then for the, the front to back, I also used this UHMW um, basically round stock. Uh, it's one inch thick, quarter inch wall, um, very durable. And so this is what will ride up and down on the carriage frame. And all of this is you know very good for wear uh, that's what it's really made for so it should should hold up to the elements and and do what I need it to do and so far from, from what I can tell this thing goes up and down very good um, I still need to you know of course get it painted and um, probably put a little bit of oil on it which will probably help it out that much more uh, but just, you know, kind of playing around with it, going up and down, it seems to do really well. I definitely think when I get my my assist cables on it to go up and down, it's not going to be any issues at all. <clears throat> and it took, a, took me a little bit of time to get everything ordered in. Uh, but like I said, I've got all the parts now. I've got engine. I've got all my band wheels. I've got the, the roller guides, everything here to, to finish that out, bearings shafts i've made my plates for that and i'll i'll go over some of this stuff in a in another video um but yeah here's just a little portion of the the parts and pieces that i'm gonna gonna need here and i do plan to make this a power feed as well as a power up and down so there's gonna be there's gonna be a little bit of a, a series to this and there's gonna be different steps along the way and plan on making you know splitting these videos up into different sections and like I said make a make a series of it 
that way you know the videos aren't too long and you can kind of go back and pinpoint in on a process of what what you might want to see yeah i think that's going to do it for this video like i said just wanted to have a little bit of introduction on this bandsaw mill kind of what the plans are a look at the the bed and the the carriage that way you kind of have an idea of what to, what to expect coming up so i hope you i hope you follow along on the process and come back and 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 go with us on this build i appreciate you watching and for more on this subscribe that way you can keep up with future content and i appreciate it we'll see you on the next one